Hello, uh, the other day I was trying some optimizations, but um, they were not uh, very <clears throat> fruitful, so, so perhaps today I will show one of the ways we can profile. Uh, let's, uh, I made um, a profile command for the compiler, let's uh, let's use it. Make profile. Um, let's do a search. Ah, the I added uh, a new <clears throat> new limit to the generator, so so we can profile. Uh, predictably, uh, the other uh, let's yeah, um, I added a new parameter so we can uh, give a limit to the generator, and if the limit is uh, positive, we see the random generator of of the D library to a constant value. Uh, and if not, we use an unpredictable seed. That is, uh, is one of the <coughs> one of the features of the D language. This is another feature. This is a function, but we can use it in D when when a function has no parameters. We can call it sometimes, not always. We, uh, we can call it um, without the parentheses, but to be completely clear, we use, we will use parentheses. Um, hmm. Let me see. Okay, if limits, yeah. So, we, uh, let's put a limit of 100 solutions. And see what happens. <clears throat> Usually, the decompiler in profile mode must uh, return uh, normally uh, to to generate the, the the files with the information. So I put this uh, this break here. So the so the problem the, the program finishes. When it reaches a hundred solutions, let's see. Okay, and uh, it generates two files: one with the definitions of the names of the functions, etc. Well, that uh, it does not uh, interest us, and one that is the, the trace log. Um, that is uh, the useful one in this case. Let me see. It's in the end of the file. Uh, here it is. Yeah. This is the information. <laughs> Times are in megaticks. I don't know what uh, what that means, but I think. Uh, it's related to to the clock to the internet clock. I I think uh, a mega tick could be a second, but no, 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 no. No ticks are are more more often. I think. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, and it's sorted. I think. Why is it formatted like this? Eight. Okay, it's sorted by function time. So this is the cumulative time of each function of the of the generator, and, and the number of calls, the time, the the and the complete time it takes for the program to run, and the 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 time of the function. 
as calculated by the profiler. Okay, so, as I suspected, there is a function here that is taking more time than the find one. The, the, the find function was the one I tried to uh, optimize the previous time, but it, it's a good candidate, it's the second in the list. So perhaps we will check it later, but uh, but the this function is the is the one <coughs> we will study first. Perhaps hmm, let me see. Let's use a more uh, a more detailed uh, detailed uh, profiling. I will generate a thousand solutions. I will pause the the recording we are, while the profiler is running because it's very boring. Okay, <clears throat> the profiler finished. Uh, so we will see the new statistics. Okay, this did this did not uh, vary too much. I hate this this unformatted format uh, text. Okay, uh, yeah, it's not not too not much more precise. It's uh, approximately double the time. This versus this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is a. Uh, uh, this is the function. Yesterday I was <clears throat> optimizing some minor details about this, but uh, this continues to be a um, recursive function. And it's really, there is really no reason to be recursive about this because uh, this uses uh, this array. Uh, and it populates the populates it with um, the indexes of the crates that uh, must move if pushed. No, sorry. Um, okay. So let's do it uh, non-recursively. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Let's make a loop. First, let's make the more crude version. And later we will refine it. Let's uh, let's use uh, long named variables, my favorite. Okay, first we control that uh, mm -hmm. something changed. Now, the question is <clears throat> sorry, this, this control must be in this. Uh, this is interesting because we never call this function with uh, a negative yeah yeah we will never call it with a negative index so this is one thing okay And also, given that this will not no longer be uh, recursive, let me check. If we call it 
yeah we will no longer call it uh, recursively so we will never try to push hmm yeah yeah we will never call it uh, with something that it's already in the list i think let me let me check one more time to be sure we call it here after we initialize the all right call it here and call it recursively and here also after initializing the, the array okay and here also yeah yeah perfect okay so this let's comment this this was uh, before the good now Now let's do a uh, for each um, for each index. Uh, Yes. Yeah, we put mm, no. No, we uh, we don't need a for here. We need a, um yeah. Last other we need an index to let me check yeah because we call it we not always call it uh, let me see. yeah yeah okay last thing other is yeah just in case because sometimes we call it with an empty with an empty array and sometimes uh, we call it with uh, an already added. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. While true. Uh, let's me let me if last uh, is greater or equal to things push dot length return and Yeah, and if not, mm -hmm. yeah, 
no, sorry. Uh, this is not correct. Um, this. This is. Uh, okay. Of crate. Instead of crate, we use that. Okay. And instead of this, we. This is uh, this is correct. Yeah. Yeah. We increment here. I think. I think this should be equivalent. Yeah, because okay, let's check. Let's uh, generate. Um, let's copy. Let's move the generated levels to another file. Let's generate a hundred. Uh huh. Implicitly convert expression. Ah. This is a, uh, yeah, we must cast, because length uh, in, in the D language, the length, it's always uh, an unsigned integer. So if you uh, mix, mix uh, integer types, it, uh, okay. So, if this is correct, the generated levels will match the previous output because we are using a random number generator. Hmm. Let's see. It seems like it's caught in an infinite loop, I think because it's uh, obviously it's chugging along but uh, not outputting anything I think no okay I have obviously I have a bug let me see uh, uh, I see the bug yeah yeah this is uh, this is an interesting lesson in naming because this variable should be called last analyzed index because that is the intent I have. So what I wanted to do is increment it here because for each new yeah yeah in fact that let's uh, yeah this is um, yeah let's put it that I think I think uh, this is correct hmm. Let's try. Okay. It's compiling. Let's let's monitor the file. Hmm. No, it's obviously 
obviously not working. Let's see. Let's see the code again. Let me think. Let's think more clearly. Let's uh, yeah. Let's extract this. here, because this is the position of the, let's call it uh, analyze position, and this is the crate indexed by the, yeah. Mm -hmm. and for each okay ah to check if um to check if we ever exit this this loop we will print the line so if it never get uh, printed in the standard error, it's obviously caught in an infinite loop. Let me see. Yeah, it's running, and this is never printed. Okay. Um, let's think. Hmm. I I wish this was a live session, and I. I could have a chat full of people help me, me, helping me, but uh, at the same time, I'm happy recording this and deleting all the embarrassing parts. But I think this this kind of uh, bug fix is interesting to to share. So perhaps I will not uh, <laughs> delete this part. And let me pause for a moment. Okay, let's uh, let's print here. Let's print this. I should use a proper debugger, but okay, okay. <laughs> it's obvious. It's obvious that uh, we are not. Why is this? What? Let's print. Let's print this. Hmm. We are... Ah, I know. Now I know. <laughs> it's a very beautiful... It's very beautiful. Uh, I know where is the bug. We are adding new neighbors to the array without checking if it's already in the in the list <laughs> because we we made that check before in in, in the previous version of the function and we are uh, not doing that check uh, here. So uh, given that. I think this function is uh, is a bit um, mm -hmm. no. This is uh, sticky here. Yeah, this is arithmetic. And okay, this is not so. Uh, mm, it's not so expensive. This check. So, um, perhaps we are, we will check this first. Hmm. Now, let's check the, check it uh, here. Um, uh, this is an index. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, no, count until things flashed, neighbor less than zero. This was, uh, let me check again. Yeah, this returns negative one, I think. Off. Yeah. Okay, so if the neighbors, if the neighbor exists and it's not already in the array, we will push it, we will increment. This is made. This is done for each direction because perhaps I should explain <laughs> what this function does. Is uh, it? Um, let me load the game because it's it's a bit abstract. If not, um, this function I I I think I explained it before, but uh, only. To be clear, this function, what it does is analyzes. It, each time you, um, let me see, in this situation, no? I'm pushing, I'm, I'm grabbing this box in this move. So the system must check what things are pushed by this move. Because it's not only this crate, it's also all the crates that are neighboring with it and are stuck with it. And uh, let me see another example. Um, in this case, for example, I'm pushing things uh, in one or another direction and we must uh, build the group of things that are moving with with the thing I'm, I'm pushing. That is what that function does. And before it was uh, recursive because it was the most elegant implementation I, I could think of, but um, sometimes recursion is expensive to the, uh, to the CPU. So sometimes it's better to complicate a bit the the code and make a non-recursive version. So let's check if we uh, if we are correct. This I think will work, but uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. It's running and it's not generating anything. Okay, we still have a problem. Hmm. Why? <laughs> Let's check. Let's check if we are uh, incrementing the array infinitely. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? If we are. Hmm. Let's add this. Uh, Okay, it's clearly in a loop. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, this is not. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
Let me check. It's it's very this is not outputting anything, but at the same time. I don't think it's a, uh, let's uh, let's break instead of, yeah, ah, okay, this is, this is working problem perhaps it's that it's lower than before I'm not sure let's use uh, let's make a non-profile build only to check the speed hmm No, the problem must be that it's uh, it's incorrect what it's doing. So, so, so it no, it's ah yeah, it's generating things, but much more slowly. Too many. It's, mm, yeah, obviously, let's, let's make some levels and make a diff. Uh, previous. Oh. It's interesting. They are the same. Oh, no. No, no. There are the differences. Or not. Yeah. Yeah, there are several differences. The, the level generated is the same, but uh, obviously the solution is not. Okay. Yeah, obviously this uh, this is not working. Um, okay. Let's analyze a bit more. Hmm. Let's check. Let's check again the the ways in which we call this function, because hmm. Here we call it after resetting the array. Here we call it uh, twice. Ah, yeah, this this could be this could be different. Okay, okay, let's check. Yeah. If count until it's pushed. Great. Return. Yeah, only to to be sure. And now uh, let's make some levels. Mm -hmm. And now the differences will not be. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah. The yeah. The first. Yeah, we we have we have uh, some more levels here because it was bigger. Let's move. Uh, 
let's move this before and um, let's make a profile of this one that is I think it's correct okay this will take a bit but uh, it should be a little faster I think I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure because uh, sometimes compilers can optimize recursion in a way that uh, it's a bit uh, weird but uh, okay let's open let's close that let's open the log hmm yeah it's not is this new data let's make sure because perhaps I, I'm seeing uh, another the previous data hmm let's be sure uh, also let's remove this just to be sure that the generator levels are equal mm -hmm. it seems a bit faster but then I'm not really sure about this. Uh, 76. Okay, trace.log. Let's go to the. Ah. Yeah, it's. Hmm. It's still the uh, bubble. It's still twice the time. So perhaps. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, do uh, let's do a timing of the optimized version with 5,000 levels to see what this mm -hmm. let's pause a bit okay it's near completion let's see what's the time it took what why off oh, I forgot the to time it sorry Let's do it again. Okay, now it should spew the timing information. Okay, one minute, 18 seconds. Interesting. It's a bit... Uh... Oh, I don't have the timing file here. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's a bit faster than before. Before we had uh, 1 minute uh, 30 seconds or so. So, it, it's it's a it's a win. It's a win, but uh, not so the the thing that bothers me is that before the optimization this function took uh, almost twice than this one and now it's a, it, it also takes more or less twice perhaps i remember incorrectly i will check the video later but for now i think it's a, it's an interesting video to share so if you like it uh, press the like button and 
if you know of uh, people that uh, could enjoy this kind of things, let them know, share the video. Um, goodbye.